Would you sometimes just want to leave everything behind and find some solace in the wild world? Well, the good news is, there are plenty of beautiful places in the Swiss Alps where you can. And if you've never heard of Eben Alp, Wildkirchli, Escher, or Seealpsee, then stay with me and get to know National Geographic's dream place. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geographic. I'm very happy to see all of you again, especially all my followers who have been staying with me in the past months and everyone who is new here, welcome on my channel Geographic. I'm Jean-Marc Beer, a Swiss traveler based in Singapore and in this channel here I'm gonna introduce you to lesser known places in the world, mainly in Southeast Asia and in my home country which is by the way, Switzerland, just as this shirt here, which I'm wearing. Now in this video here, I'm gonna show you an amazingly beautiful place located in Northeast Switzerland. Why should you travel here? First of all, because it is not a mainstream destination, so you won't have all this mass tourism, which is quite annoying, I think. And second, it's a lot cheaper. You're only gonna pay about 17 Swiss francs if you take the cable car up to the lookout even out. And here is my great advice to all people who travel on budget. You can actually just avoid taking the cable car, simply hiking up to the Alps. It's gonna cost you nothing, except a walk of about two and a half hours. Now let me tell you how to travel here. You can either take the car or train. And in my opinion, I think renting a car is a lot more advisable, especially if you're traveling in a group because it is a lot cheaper. Let's say if you start from Zurich, it's gonna take you about 90 minutes to reach Wasserraum. This is the name of the place where you have to travel to. That's where your trip is gonna start. In this video, I'm gonna show you how your trip would look like if you take the cable car. So in less than five minutes, you're gonna arrive at the lookout Ebenalp. Once arrived up there, I'm pretty sure all of you are gonna be quite overwhelmed because you can enjoy a stunning view over the hilly landscape of the Appenzellerland. It's just marvelous. To be honest, I was actually quite surprised myself. I really didn't expect it to be this beautiful, but I think that's what Switzerland is about. It's always on for some kind of surprise like this. Now, although it is very beautiful up there, I recommend you to not spend too much of your time here because there are a lot more things to see. Most prominent among all is of course the famous guest house Escher, which I'm pretty sure all of you are very eager to see. So let's say after about 15 minutes you should make your way down there and you're gonna be quite surprised on this short hiking trail there are a lot of things to see. For example, after only 10 minutes, you're gonna enter a prehistoric cave where humans used to live about 45 to 30,000 years ago. It's actually quite remarkable. When you exit the cave on the other side, you're gonna arrive at the Wildkirchli, which is a Catholic chapel that was built into the rocks. Believe it or not, there are still sermons being held here. If you want to visit one of them, then you should come here on a beautiful Sunday morning between June and October. Just a few hundred meters further, we finally arrive at the famous guest house Escher. Look at this amazing panorama. It was so overwhelming to me. It was literally like a dream coming true. Because this place seems like the perfect idol, eventually National Geographic got to know about this place and unfortunately, I do have to share this with you. A lot more people started to come here after National Geographic printed this guest house on one of their magazine covers. The good news, however, is it mainly affected July and August only. So if you come in any other month, like me, for example, in October, you won't really have a problem with the crowds. In my case, there were only 15 to 20 people, which was very manageable. Definitely, since you already are up there, you should have lunch in the restaurant Escher. It is a very unique experience. You're gonna have a very nice view in a very special place. And I don't think there are many other places like this in the world where you can have such an amazing dining opportunity. And let me show you some local delicacies, which you should try. For example, the Appenzeller cheese, one of Switzerland's best cheese, and you should definitely give a try to 
this liquor here, it is called Appenzeller. It is a typical bitters from Switzerland. It is named after the region where it just traveled to. What is quite nice, it shows you the guest house where you're just having lunch at and the Seealfsee, one of Switzerland's dreamiest lakes. It has a very unique taste and it contains 42 different herbs from the Swiss Alps. So definitely you should have one shot glass. Don't take more because you're still on a hike, remember? But one shot glass is definitely a good choice. And where else is it better than having it in the place itself? If you like this video so far, I would be more than happy if you would hit that subscribe button and become part of Team Geomographic. It would definitely encourage me a lot to produce more of this kind of videos. And moreover, I would be very happy to have you on board. Even though you have just seen the highlight, which is the guest house Escher, there is another beautiful place which I want to share with you. It's called the Seealpsee, one of Switzerland's most dreamiest lakes and a perfect hideout. Starting off from Escher, it takes you about one hour of hiking. I know one hour it sounds so long, but it's really worth it. And hiking in the Swiss Alps is never boring because everything in Switzerland is literally like Heidi land. And I'm not joking, even this trail here, you just walk and walk and walk. But if you look down in the valley, it's so beautiful. All the white corridor with its beautiful, colorful trees. And this is my other signature hint, which I'm sharing with you. Do not come here during spring, neither during summer and definitely not during winter, but come here during autumn. This is really the best season to visit this place because look at these colorful trees in which other season will you see so many colors. And second, you got no tourists. Nobody's here. You pretty much have all the place for yourself. Do not think about coming here during July and August. That's a very bad decision. I'm gonna introduce you to another beautiful corner in this place. It's called the Seealpsee, one of Switzerland's most dreamy lakes. It is so peaceful here. You could literally just sit here for hours and do nothing. That's pretty much what I did. I hope this video has been convincing enough for you to consider a possible future trip coming here. And personally, I really hope that one day all of you can witness this place in real. And then I would be very glad if you could share your experience by leaving some comments. Thank you very much to all of you for taking your time and watching this video. And to everybody who decided to hit that subscribe button, thank you very much and see you all very soon.